Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today I wanna to talk about five shortcuts that I use a ton in Final Cut 10 and that have drastically improved the speed at which I edit. These shortcuts are really going to help you speed up your editing, and it really works for anyone on single screens or even dual monitors when it comes to editing. So let's go ahead and jump right in. The first shortcut that I use so, so much is Control Command one. This pulls up our libraries and our clip browser. So when you start a project, often we're just organizing footage, we're putting together multicams, things like that. This is going to be great. Uh, you're going to want to have a setup like this where you can start editing and you can see what you're working with and all of your footage here. The next shortcut or really two shortcuts, I should say, but they're very similar is showing and hiding the effects browser and the inspector. So once you have a basic edit put together, now it's time to tweak everything. So you might be doing some transforming or adding a couple effects, and that's where Command 4 for the inspector and Command 5 for the effects browser come in. So you don't always need these panels open, and instead of constantly clicking at these buttons down here, Command 4 pulls up your inspector. You could hop into audio, make some changes, go over to the videos tab, do some work here, and then go ahead and hide it again, expand your image. Same thing goes for the effects browser, command five, that pulls that up. And when it comes to the effects, often we're not needing this panel. Sometimes we just need to quickly jump in, grab something, throw it on our clip, and then hop back out. And it's important to keep that closed because that takes up our timeline space. So we can see our timeline down here. If we have the effects browser open, it's not giving us as much space. So if we close it, we have quite a bit more of our edit shown here. So that is a great, great one that I use a lot just to quickly jump in, grab an effect and close it. And that is command five. And then the inspector panel is command four. The next shortcut is showing your scopes. So when it comes to color correction, what we see right now is not necessarily what we need. So I can go ahead and use our first shortcut, Control Command 1 to hide our libraries and footage. I'm going to hit Command 7 to bring up our video scopes. Now if scopes scare you, I recommend you check out my video on color correction. You'll learn to love this tool. It is an amazing tool and it looks complicated, but it really isn't too bad. So definitely check out that video. And this is kind of what I'd be doing for color correction. I have my image nice and big so I can see what's going on. And I've got my waveform monitor. And that brings us to the next shortcut, which also involves color. So um, with Final Cut, you used to, in the inspector, always have a color tab. But that's not there anymore. They removed it. So to get the color correction filter, you actually have to go into your effects browser, have to type in color, and grab it drag it on your clip. But there's a much quicker way. So we're gonna close this. We're even going to close our inspector and I'm going to click on the clip that I wanna add a color correction to. I'm gonna hit Command 6. This not only adds a color board to our clip, but it also opens it up for us. So before, we used to have to go in here, search for the color correction, drag it onto the clip, go up to the inspector and click on this button then we could start color correcting. Now, all we have to do, even if the inspector is closed, is click on our clip and hit Command-6, and boom, we're doing color correction. So we have our color correction up here, we don't need to have our effects browser open, and this is a great way to do color correction. We've got our scopes, which helps a ton, we have our image, and we have our color board. So the next shortcut is when it comes to working with angles and showing our angles. So I'm gonna close everything I possibly can, Command-4 to close the inspector, Command-7 to close my scopes, and I'm going to hit Command-Shift-7 to pull up my angles. So I have a multi-cam clip here, and uh, when it comes to chopping up your angles, you don't need to see too much, so this is going to be a great setup. And it's important to know this shortcut because if you have a bunch of stuff turned on like this, this is gonna slow your machine down, especially with 4K footage like I have here. So when I'm doing multicam edits, my computer kind of coughs and, and struggles with displaying both the image, the main image here, as well as both of the angles. Because when you play back, you can see here it's really choppy. So 
as much as possible, you want to keep that closed. So that is the command shift seven. Those are my shortcuts that I use just a ton. And you can see here just what a dramatic difference it can make as you're flying through Final Cut. You can show everything like so, or if a client comes in, you need to clean things up real quick. You know, it's that simple. So to recap, we have Control Command One. That's our library and browser. And we had Command Four for our inspector, and then Command Five for our effects browser. Next, we talked about showing our scopes, which is Command Seven. We can toggle that on and off. Then we talked about Command Six, which not only opens up our inspector, but it gives us a fresh color board. And finally, we talked about our camera angles or pulling up our different angles, and that is Command Shift 7. So those are the five that I use all the time. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys use all the time. I'm constantly learning. I'm by no means a shortcut master. And I encourage you to figure out your own shortcuts because all of us edit differently. We all edit with different projects. So pay attention to how you edit and what you're doing constantly again and again and again, and see if there's a shortcut that can help you out there. If you're looking for more reviews and tutorials, check out dslrvideoshooter.com. I'll catch you guys over there.